Hello student, today we will be doing the second theorem of the chapter number 6 that is triangles and what it tells if a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio then the line is parallel to third side. Before coming over this we will have a little bit revision of the first theorem that is basic proportionality theorem T H E O R E M basic proportionality theorem and what this theorem tells that that if in a line if in a triangle that is ABC if any two point that is D and E is dividing the two sides of a triangle that is AD by DB and AE by EC and if this line DE is parallel to BC then what we can write the ratio of the divided segment by the line segment DE that is AD by DB that will be proportion to the AE by EC. So this is the theorem that is told by basic proportionality theorem. So in this if I take the reverse form that is from here to here that becomes our opposite of this theorem basic proportionality theorem and that can be said as converse of basic proportionality theorem and this theorem that is con converse basic proportional theorem it is given by the theorem 6.2 or in place of 6.2 theorem we can directly write converse of basic proportionality theorem and what it tells and how to get the result out of this theorem we will see now okay before the theorem 6.2 i have written the other name of the theorem 6.2 that is converse of basic proportionality theorem and we will now prove this theorem by taking a triangle that is a b c and here already given that d and e is the two points on the two sides of a triangle and they are in the equal ratios or same ratios that means what is given here ad by db is equal to ae by ec and we need to prove what to prove here that de is parallel to bc that means we have to go reverse of the basic proportionality theorem so first part what we will draw here we will construct one line that is de dash and we will assume that we will write here construction and in construction what we have constructed that de dash is parallel to bc we are assuming this one as parallel and now and not de is parallel to bc that means we are assuming only de dash is parallel to bc as you few can see in the diagram and not de parallel to bc so we will assume this one and we will start the solution using this de dash parallel to bc so in triangle abc what we are getting during construction that de dash is parallel to bc so using this and using the concept of bpt what we can write here that is ad by db is equal to ae dash by ec sorry e dash c so this we will take as 2 and this one whatever given part is as 1 okay i have erased the theorems the statement whatever i have written earlier okay 
so next part of this solution will be we will take from 1 and 2 so where is 1 this one is 1 and this one is 2 so what is the common between 1 and 2 that is a d by d b the ratio of a d by d b is common so they will be cancelled and what we can write here a e by e c is equal to a e dash by e dash c so here what we will do we will add one in both the side adding one both the side so what will be our next step i'm writing here so after adding this one a e plus e c by e c this e c has been multiplied with one and then after added with a e the same thing will be happened here a e dash c e dash c will be added to one or multiplied with one plus it will be added to a e dash so what we can write here a e dash plus e dash c divided by e dash c and from the diagram what we can take for a e plus e c here if you see in the diagram a e plus e c after adding it will have the full length that is a c by e c and that will be equal to what we have from here a e dash plus e dash c so it will also have the full length that is a c divided by a c e dash c so a c a c will be cancelled and what we will getting e c equal to after reciprocating we are getting that e c is equal to e dash c so this one that means e c where is e c this one and e dash c e dash c so both are equal so that means this has to be if both are equal that means e and e dash must coincide with each other must coincide that's why they are equal so directly from the construction and from the whatever result we have got directly we can write that de is parallel to bc so what we have not taken that de is not parallel to bc and de dash parallel to bc and we have found that this e dash c and e c are equal that's why they are in the same point that is coinciding with each other e dash and e are in the same point that is this point if i take so this point is e dash also and e also so that means whatever we have assumed de dash so in place of de dash e dash is there so in place of that we can write de why because e dash and e are coinciding with each other that means with the same point they are e dash and e also so that's why directly I, we can write de is parallel to bc and this is our proof of the given theorem okay i hope you have understand this one in the next video we will come up with the same another theorems thank you